Story time with Mr. G. 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 Hi everyone, my name is Mr. G and this is Tina. Tina the Triceratops. She loves to read. Do you love to read? What's your favourite book? Maybe you could let me know down below. Tina loves to be read to. It's important that we're read to, just as it's very important to read a book. So Tina's chosen a very special book, one that she likes very much and has a very good message inside. Tina, would you like me to tell them what book we're reading today? She said she'd love for me to tell you what book we're reading. Today, we're reading 10,000 Dresses, a story by Marcus Hewitt, illustrated by Rex Ray. Tina, you have a seat here and I will read you the story. 10,000 Dresses. Ten Thousand Dresses by Marcus Hewitt and Rex Ray. To my parents, with love, Marcus. Special thanks to the gent surgeon for Bailey, Rex. Every night, Bailey dreamt about dresses. A long staircase led to a red valentine castle. On each stair was a brand new dress just waiting to be tried on. 10,000 dresses in all, and each one different. The first dress was made of crystals. When Bailey slipped the dress on, the crystals clinked against each other like millions of tiny bells. And when sunlight hit the dress, just right, rainbows jumped out. With all her heart, Bailey loved the dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. When Bailey, when Bailey woke up, she went to find her mother. Mom! I dreamt about a dress, said Bailey. Uh-huh, said her mother. A dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if you would buy me a dress like that. Bailey, what are you talking about? You're a boy. Boys don't wear dresses. But I don't feel like a boy, Bailey said. Well, you are one, Bailey, and that's that. Now go away and don't mention dresses again. Bailey went to her room. Now she would never have a dress made of crystals that flashed rainbows in the sun. That night, Bailey walked right past the crystal dress and went to the second staircase. There was a dress made of lilies and roses and when she slipped it on, she saw that it had sleeves. Oh, she, slip, she slipped it on, she saw that the sleeves were made of honeysuckles. Bailey picked a few of the blossoms to taste the little drops of honey. With all her heart, Bailey loved the dress made of lilies and roses with honeysuckle sleeves. Bailey woke up and went to find his father. He was in the backyard pulling up the weeds. Dad, I dreamt about a dress, Bailey said. Uh-huh, said the father. A dress made of lilies and roses with honeysuckle sleeves. Uh-huh. And, and I was wondering if you could grow me a dress just like that. Bailey, what are you talking about? 
You're a boy, and boys don't wear dresses. But I don't feel like a boy, she said. Well, you are one, Bailey, and that's that. Now go away and don't mention dresses again. Bailey went to her room. Now she would never have a dress made of lilies and roses with honey supple sleeves. That night, Bailey walked right past the crystal dress and the dress made of lilies and roses and went to the third stair. There was a dress made of windows. One window showed the Great Wall of China and another the pyramids. Well, with all her heart, Bailey loved the dress made of windows which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. Bailey woke up and went to find her brother. He was playing soccer with some kids. I dreamt about a dress, she told him. A dress made of windows which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. You dream about dresses, Bailey? That's gross. You're a boy. But, Bailey said, but nothing. Get out of here before I kick you. Bailey ran and ran. She ran all the way to the end of the block until she came to a house with a big blue porch. An older girl was sitting there with needles and thread, old sheets. What are you doing? Bailey asked. Making dresses, said the big girl. But it's really hard. Mine all come out looking the same. Maybe I can help, said Bailey. Bailey told Laurel, the big girl, about the dress made of windows which showed the Great Wall of China and the pyramids. That's awesome, said Laurel. But how do we make a dress out of windows? Well, use old mirrors instead, said Bailey. Together the girls made two new dresses which were covered with mirrors of all shapes and sizes. These dresses don't show us the Great Wall of China or the Pyramid, said Laurel. No, said Bailey. They do show us ourselves. You're the coolest girl I've ever met, Bailey, said Laurel. Hey, do you think you can dream up more dresses? Bailey grinned. I think I can dream up 10,000. The End 10,000 Dresses is a special story, isn't it? It's about a boy who wants to wear dresses. And that's okay. Everybody is different and everybody is unique in their own way. Don't be too sad or upset. If you feel like you want to wear dresses, or if you're a girl and you feel like you might want to wear shorts or something a bit more boyish, that's okay. One day you'll be able to celebrate who you are and the world will support you and love you. All right, until next time, have a great day or evening wherever you are. Stay safe and be kind to one another. See you later from Mr. G, bye.